Okay. Hello. It should be live now. Hello, everybody. Hi, everyone in the comment section already. Uh, great to see you here. It's a bit odd over here. Got a bit of a setup going on over here. Um, let me see if... How did it sound to everyone? If you're listening to this, can you just let me know if that sounds okay? Is the audio okay? And let's see if this is working on Facebook as well. Yeah, it should be working now. Okay, uh, your gamers guide official hey says hey, hi. And there is Said, hi. Um, many, many teep, hi. Barak, nice to see you, everybody. Um, so basically, uh, what this whole live stream is for is, uh, but the video is a bit laggy. Yes, my friends, the video is a bit laggy because I'm using some proper, um, like software, absolute budging to get this thing working because I'm not actually using a capture device to get this working. How I'm actually making this work is, well, let me know if you want to know how I'm making this work, but it, there's some pretty interesting stuff going on. Also, there's a few second camera wirelessly, as you can see over here, my hands, hello. Um, and then we're gonna have, you know, you guys here on the comment section and then back into main screen. This is basically what is happening. Uh, hi Jordan, hi Alex, hi Warrior Videographer, hi Fong, hi 44 and more. Flipping it guys, um, thanks for being here. Honestly, it just blows my mind um, that so many people have recently subscribed to this channel. So the whole thing, before we're gonna set off and do anything else, I just wanna say thank you to every single person who's been subscribed. To me, 15,000 subscribers, that is like, it's insane. I could have only dreamed about it, but uh, I don't know, the YouTube algorithm or whatever is just being very generous to me and you guys just absolutely blows my mind. I just want to say thank you and I feel really blessed that whoever's watching this, you know, gets some useful information out from, from these videos. And um, yeah, I just want to say one more time, a big, big, big thank you, everyone who has subscribed. Um, hi, Jackson. Nice to see you over there as well. So, um, remote Sony app to OBS. Alex, you are right. You are exactly right. If I can show you, let me see if I can show you over here. So this is basically over here, but let me see if I can. The picture is probably gonna go a bit weird now. There we go. It's like through, through this little program over there and capturing over there. So it's probably like, I don't know, 20 frames per second, maybe less. It looks like a security camera. So let's get that going back over there again. And this is basically how I'm doing it. Um, and I don't think no one's gonna actually figure out how the second camera angle over here has been done. If anyone has any idea, I'd love to know if, if any of you know how this works because there's some trickery going on over there. Um, there's no wires attached to this, uh, so that is pretty interesting. Um, and I bet you don't even know what the second camera is, camera angle, okay? We're gonna do some unboxing, so I just wanted the second camera angle so we can look at some stuff, you know, um, very closely and things like that. Let me just look at quickly some of the questions over here that came from the beginning. Um, Many Deep is saying, with 550 motherboards coming out, Ryzen 4000 series coming out. Is building a PC now a good option or do you suggest to wait? I think there is some point in there um, if you can wait. There's like two kind of uh, direction how you can go about this question. First of all is if, if, you, if you don't need this for your work and you need this for your hobby or gaming or just for, you know, because you like doing it, Definitely wait if you want the best bang for buck or whatever. If you need this for work and you get, need to get some stuff done, I think there's nowhere, no, no time to wait for anything because if you need this for work, you obviously just get your stuff down, you know, build the PC and get your work done faster. Um, the good thing is if you go in with, with the AMD um, 
motherboards or the AMD CPUs, the AMD is actually going to support the upcoming 4000 series CPUs should be, um, what the rumors say, should be supporting uh, the previous motherboards as well. So especially if you go with the X570 motherboards, you should be fine with the new uh, CPUs as well. Said is saying, will prices of components drop? Like B450 Tomahawk, Max, Ryzen 5, 3600 6, 3, and GPUs. Yes, uh, I think so. They will be uh, dropping soon. Um, obviously, it's a little bit hard to kind of um, give exact what's going to happen because of um, everything that's happening around the world. I think this is like one of the craziest times we're living in, especially with coronavirus then all the protests that are going on around the world, it all affects the actual market as well and how things are happening. So um, probably, but you'll never know. You know, we thought it's going to go cheaper, but during Corona, um, things are so like were much more expensive than usual. Uh, okay, let me see if there's anything else. Um, I want to know how you get the video capture. Yes, I think we covered that already. It was already on the Sony camera app. Um, is YouTube back to its quality? Um, that says Spa SB3R2 socket. Um, I think I think so. I've been watching you since the start. Barak, thanks for being here. Absolutely awesome. Pringles box. Pringles box? I don't know what you mean over there mounted to the roof yes the second camera is a phone jordan lee rokes it is a phone and is connected wirelessly to this uh live stream over here which is pretty interesting um barak is also saying is the lenovo s145 good for beginners um, I'm not sure what you mean over there, but I think this is a laptop and I'm not sure with this familiar product, so I don't know. Who knows? Uh, I heard news that NVIDIA GeForce 20 series will decrease prices by half when 30 series launch. I truly hope that this is going to happen because we can get some killer deals on, you know, the RTX 2080 Ti or 2080, especially now if you're a video, edit, video editor, that would be a big, big, big thing for you because the latest Premiere, if you're editing on Premiere, obviously, but the latest Premiere update allows you to utilize a GPU encoding, which is absolutely awesome. You know, you can get two times less or like half the render speeds or up to five times faster render speeds, which is pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. From Middle East, I enjoy when I hear your voice. Thank you so much for everything everything you do. Uh, thanks, um, Abu Khaled. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. It's great to have you here. Honestly, I'm absolutely blown away that these you guys are commenting on this. Like, wh why, <laughs> why, why would you, you know, it's just some like random guy making tech videos from the UK. Um, what is best RX 590 or RX 5000XD 5, for DaVinci. Honestly, if you're going for DaVinci, I recommend you go in with NVIDIA. Now, if you want to make sure, what you can do is, <laughs> let me go over here. Okay, there we go. And let me go to this. Um, if you can see this over here, you got Puget Systems. Uh, we're going to go to Publications articles and let's find DaVinci Resolve okay so these guys are absolutely amazing if they do because they're basically building like um, custom made PCs and for your specific needs so whatever you need you know whether it's video editing or whether it's um, you know whatever work you're doing creating animation photo editing they can make a PC pardon me for your specific needs. So if we're going to look at this uh, DaVinci Resolve over here, then um, you can see that, um, let's have a look, best uh, CPU, there is somewhere best GPU. Um, see, there we go. DaVinci Resolve Roundup. GPU versus um, basically 
uh, Nvidia versus AMD. And if you go down there, just, just go quickly to the results over here. As you can see, the red ones are AMD and the um, green ones are Nvidia. You can see that Nvidia is just like in the top of the chart, you know, the Vega 64 here is just slightly faster than the GeForce 2060, and that is not 2060 Super, just so you know. Look, 2060 Super is already better than Vega 64, so just so you know, you know, 5700 XT, it's not a good. So basically, the big, um, easy kind of, oh, where you go, the general thing over here is, if you're gaming, go for AMD GPUs, if you're video editing, go for NVIDIA, and that's it, really. Uh, best parts for a quiet PC. Um, there's so much I could I could tell you there. Um, I'm actually thinking about making a video how to make your PC quieter and which parts to use if that is the main thing for you. Um, so maybe stay tuned for that. But we can have a whole other conversation how to make it quieter. Just, you know, basically don't use hard drives. Try to get a bigger cases, dampened cases, um, bigger fans. Um, you know, don't use stock coolers, things like that. I just reviewed the MSI Prestige 15, really good laptop. It's better than the MSI Prestige 14. Yes, very cool, very cool. Um, what CPU is best for Sony Vegas? I don't know. If I'm completely honest, I don't know because I don't think it's um, as big of a editing software than um, Final Cut, DaVinci, or Premiere Pro. I think they're the main big ones, and then Sony Vegas comes forth. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. So I don't exactly know um, what Sony Vegas does, but my guess would be if you want to go for a CPU, go for the third series of Ryzen because there's a massive jump between the second and third series of Ryzen GPUs because they changed the you know structure. It's on seven nanometers now, which is much better. Um, just more efficient, much more power you know, single core or single thread performance is much better as well. Hi mate, what is the best alternative for EVGA PCU? Uh, that's Georgie Petrov saying. Uh, Supernova, it's out of stock, so I wondered what else to get decent enough to follow your PC build. I think you are mentioning the um, budget uh, workstation build guide, which we did the black and red build. Um, what GPU, what PC, PSU? Actually, someone just commented recently on my channel that I've been saying PSU all wrong. For some reason, I've been saying PCU, but I don't know why. It's PSU, not PCU. So I don't know what that is. Um, Jonathan Graham, hello, my friend. What is best, cheapest PC you know? What is the best, cheapest PC you know? The best, cheapest PC I know is the PC you have. Um, and uh, what else to get for the PSU? Um, I left some recommendations in there as well, but obviously they are fully wired or semi-module power supplies. But I would go for, I think EVJ is really cool power supply. The other one is Corsair. Just look for 650 watts and type in, um, you know, module if you want that and you'll find. Um, so guys, how about we're gonna look at someone someone's build in a moment there's one guy who sent me like a question about uh, some 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 of his build thing over on email so we're going to look at that through in a moment but before we're going to do let's open first po package of tech um over here come on focus why is it not focusing hello Oh, there we go. Okay, it's focusing, but it's a bit slow. So we have a video light over here. Let me quickly go over here and let's do this unboxing over here. Okay. This is by the company called Bixel, but I think there's some other companies who do that as well because this is not just um, this exact same model you could get with different companies. Um, so I think you can just buy this, I guess, and then you manufacture your own company logo on it, and then that's how it goes. So let's open this up. Okay. 
There we go, my friends. Look at that. Look at that. Let's see if it turns on. Uh, here? No, oh, over here. <sighs> Boom. There we go. RGB, I guess, as well. Let's go set. Yep. We have RGB over here. Let's add a bit of color here somewhere. Um, I like a bit of teal over here. A bit in the background over here. Let's see. Okay. See, it's like a, there's like an arm over here as well. So let's put this. Let's put this somewhere over here. How does that look? A bit of teal over there. Anyway, what else is in the box? Quickly over here, we have some warranty, USB-C, which is cool. Um, we have a ball head over here. Okay, that is an interesting ball head because it doesn't have um, a hot shoe or cold shoe mount on the bottom. Oh, there we go. It comes separately. So if you want, you can put it on your cold shoe as well. Screw that in over there and then we can use it over here. USB-C cable, nice little suede bag, but no branding on it. So, you know, it could be pixel, but could be anything else. So I always quite like these smaller little lights because you can, you can use them for loads of different creative methods. And if you have, oh yeah, if you have this, um, yeah, you can pack it up actually. If you have, um, seen any of my recent b-roll things i've been using loads of these smaller lights on the places where you can't really light so that is cool how much does it cost this costs let me have a look my friends um, I've, I've left the links in the description as well what we're actually unboxing so if you want to check the latest price the link is in the description as always technologies voila voila um mohammed rafi says thank you my friend for being here uh, Many deep, he says, in the recent right now build, you opted for Ryzen 5 3600X, whereas the 3600 is 20% cheaper and only 5 to 7% slower than its X counterpart. Just want to know your opinion on 3600 versus 3600X. I'm very glad that you actually asked that question because. It's been like quite a big debate on a lot of the comment section below. I've seen a lot of different people. Um, comment that and the reason why I went with the 3600X is even though it's been cheap um, faster by only five to seven percent of the t seven you know percent and um, the thing is because it's um, better on single core and multi-core that five to seven percent on everyday work is going to add up so imagine if you're going to get five to seven percent of time back you know over over time let's say in, in 100 days if you're gonna get if you work you know every single day 24 hours i know it's not realistic but let's say so then you're gonna get five to seven days for free i know it's not exactly that comparison but if you think that you're gonna get almost like a week off from 100 days then do you think that is worth the 20 percent count which is what around 30 to 50 dollars something like that so I thought, do you know what, this is worth that. And that's why I went for this um, part instead of the 3600. Now, if you're really struggling with the budget, then definitely 100% go for the 3600 and the X part might be not worth it for you. But if you can spare that 30 to 50 bucks, it's definitely worth going for the 3600X because everyday workflow, not just the editing, everything else will be much better. You know, basically that's why, that's why I went with that one. Um, I love your work from Morocco. Whoa, Hamaza, nice. Um, I hope that's how your name is spelled. Nice to see you over here. Why do you still use Premiere and not Da Vinci? Uh, Jordan is asking. I am using Premiere because I've been using Premiere for quite a long time now and you just feel comfortable with it. Now, I haven't, I've been deciding whether to go or like purchase or maybe thinking about the Blackmagic cameras because the Pocket Cinema cameras are absolutely amazing at the moment. Um, so thinking about going there, if I went with the 
I was going to, you know, you get Da Vinci with the camera and I was thinking maybe we're going to go with that then. But so far, I've just been so used to Premiere and I found my editing is faster on Premiere and just some of the features you don't get, you know, I like the workflow workspaces where you can just move everything around, have them like that. And now when the GPU utilization is, um, you know, possible as well, it's quite a good option over there. Um, Ian is saying, should I get the Mac, oh, sorry, Barak is saying, should I get the Mac Air? I think you mean MacBook Air. Uh, and I love from Lithuania. Barak, you are from Lithuania. Nice to see you from Lithuania, not fra from my home country, Estonia. So, you know, Baltic countries have to stay together. Um, oh, sorry, did I miss someone over here? Uh, why do you still use Premiere? Okay, I love your work from Lithuania. Yeah, got it. I have a Sony A6300, A I think. If I build the black and red of will I be able to edit 4K, 60 megabits per second, 24 frames per second, full quality in Premiere? Yes, you could. Um, let me think if I could even show you over here. Um, probably not. But um, yeah, you should definitely be able to edit. I don't know why would you want to edit it on full quality? That's another question, but um, you don't really need to, but you can, yes you can. I've tried it, I've used my own Sony camera over there, that's Sony A6500, and I've used it on um, Premiere Pro and it works. Now, if you go with my build, back and red build, one of the first things, like I say in there, please go and upgrade the RAM to 32 gigabytes because Premiere loves to use a bit more RAM than it's recommended. 16 is minimum, but definitely use 32 gigabytes. You're going to see much better improvements. I've been monitoring my Premiere Pro um, RAM usage recently, and it's much, much higher than I thought. Um, sometimes I'm getting up to 64 gigabytes of RAM being used, and I have uh, sorry, 62 gigabytes. I have 64 installed and I was like, whoa, it's using almost everything. But that was when I was um, opening like a hour long 4K multicam project, which was the build guide for that black and red build. When I opened the project, I can see 62 gigabytes of RAM being used. And I was like, whoa, that's quite a lot. So Premiere loves to use that, especially rendering as well. Um, it's like that. I know my frame rate looks like 10 frames per second right now. Sunil, I know it's because we've proper dodged uh, the system. We're actually using the live capture uh, because I don't have a capturing device because every single video capturing device in the UK has been sold out. So we're gonna have to wait for the stock uh, and that's why this is 10 frames per second. Um, okay. In a moment, we're going to get back to the comments. Let me just get this uh, this guy's build up because this build looked pretty mint. And um, let me see over here. I'm going to put the um, let's get uh, let me get the notepad over here, and then I'm just going to copy all his email and get his personal details off so that you can get it over here. So we have Lucas over here. Uh, and okay, copy. Okay. Okay, so there we go, guys. Let's go number three. Here we go. So this is what Lucas says. Um, I came across your YouTube channel a week while I was looking for a PC or video editing. I really enjoyed how I explained the whole process of setting up a PC, I'm novice to that. Don't worry about that. Everyone's a novice at some point, you, you know, it's all right. Um, I consider myself a novice, you know, because there's so much better guys who build PCs out there. I'm thinking flipping egg, I don't know anything when looking at that, but it's all right. Uh, I was wondering whether you would be able to take some research time to review my setup before I order it online. Switzerland, sorry, no Amazon here. Don't worry, it's all right. I am a startup founder who aims to shoot uh, short employee videos, uh, uh, branding videos for my clients, editing in Premiere Pro. I more or less followed your recommendations for the video, made tweaks here and there, especially in the storage. I followed Puget System recommendation. Very good. So CPU, AMD 9, 36, 3900X. Very nice. 
We have a graphics MSI GeForce RTX 2060 Super. Very nice. MSI Prestige X570 creation. Very nice. Um, RAM, uh, Corsair Engines, 16 gigabytes of DDR4. Very nice. Looks pretty good so far. Storage one, Samsung 970 Evo Plus, 500 gigabytes, M2 OS programs. Now with the uh, storage of this one over here, depends if you want to get um, more bang for buck or if you want to save anything over here. I would recommend going with um, PCIe Gen 4 drive for the OS. Pardon my friends, I'm sorry. Because um, it's just a little bit fu more future proof and it's just faster you know, than this Samsung Evo Plus uh, for this over there. Um, let me actually have a look, you know, if you want to know how much faster this is. So what you can do is go use a benchmarks.com. User benchmarks. User benchmark. Okay, there we go. We're going to go to SSD, compare. And we had the Samsung Evo plus 500 gigabytes. And then let's go for um, Sabrent Rocket 4. Is there 4 piece? I mean, okay, there we go. So, as we can see, actually, do you know what? You might be right. You might be right. That Samsung is sometimes even better over here at read speeds, is a bit better. Wait, are we looking at the same Rocket 4? Sabrent Rocket for NVMI PCIe. Yeah, should be. Yeah, that should be the right one. Um, faster random write, hugely faster peak sustained write speed. So actually, yeah, looks like that Samsung is actually doing pretty good as well. Um, so not too bad over there. Um, let me get this back over here. We have plus for the project and source media, media and cache over there as well. Very good. So three setup, very nice. Programs, project, cache, and then archive. Not bad, not bad. Very good setup over there. Seagate Pyrocuda, four terabytes. Um, I know these guys, are, uh, these hard drives are probably the best bang for buck hard drives. You're gonna get much more, uh, like probably the best ter per terabyte storage solutions over there. Power supply, Seasonic Focus PX750. I think this is modular, right? Let me just quickly see over that. Um, yes, continue on the side. Let's have a look. Come on, show us the... Let's just have a look at this. If there is CPU, yes, two CPUs, oh, that's fine. Um, perfect, yeah, should be fine, absolutely. If you want to go for that, and um, that's absolutely all right. Where are we? Yeah, over here. Um, Noctua and HT15, yeah, that is fine. If you want to say that, it looks you're going to have a pretty sick build over there, my friend. But the only thing that's going <laughs> to wreck it is that Noctua cooler in terms of how it looks. Because that end Noctua is going to look um, brown, if you don't know what it looks like. It's going to look like, like that. So what you want to go for, what I would do if I was you, I would go for the Chroma Max, for the NHT15 Chroma Max, because look at this case, guys. Uh, I didn't even know that you can, um, this case can, there we go, over here. I didn't even know that you can get this case in the E80X size motherboards will fit in there because that looks absolutely gorgeous. Like how minimalistic does that look? Um, just beautiful, you know, it's absolutely gorgeous. So you don't want any weird uh, brown coolers over there unless you really don't care. But I would go for the um, Chroma Max on this one over here. Windows 10 Pro, everything looks very, very good, my friend. Seriously, um, killer PC, 
um, just go for it. I would very much appreciate your feedback. Wish you a great start of the next week. Very, um, I wish you a very good week as well, Lucas. It looks very, very sick. Only thing I would change is that knock to a, knock to a one. Um, so, yeah, that is cool. So we have Joel Parry, my friend, 99p uh, on the super chat. Ah, you are cool, my friend. Thanks, Joel, for uh, being here. You were cool. We've done loads of uh, like filming together with Joel, so nice to see you here, Joel. Okay, I think I've missed a lot of comments over here. Um, okay, let's have a look at some of the comments over here. Um, Uh, Jax Balls says, I'm back. Uh, Sunil says, I'd say GPU since Premiere Pro now enables our encoding with NVIDIA. Uh, let's have a look. For video editing, which one should I upgrade first? CPU, RAM, or GPU? Um, Saeed is uh, saying that. Uh, Saeed, uh, I don't know what your setup already is. Depends on your setup. If you're running on 16 gigabytes of RAM, I would uh, go RAM first. If your RAM is already 32 gigabytes, I would go GPU. If you already have an all right GPU, um, then probably CPU, um, if that makes sense. Um, which bull should I go for with Ryzen 3300X and 3060 Super or i3 10 100 and 2060? Which one should be a better pair? Uh, that is SB3R2 socket. Um, I think you should go with AMD uh, CPU at the moment. Um, I think there's been some uh, a bit of um, debate going on around there, but I don't know what you're going to use it for gaming or something like that. Looks like gaming because you're gonna you, you have a pretty beasty um, GPU over there, and I think like around hundred and fifty dollar CPU, and then around four three hundred or four hundred your GPU, what I'm saying is your GPU costs twice as much. So it looks like you're gaming. So I think you should go for that. AMD, I think, is a bit more performance over there than the um, i3. How does the black and red perform in After Effects? Alex is asking. Uh, thanks for the question, Alex. Uh, I haven't actually tried the After Effects on the... Um, black and red build. Um, maybe I should do a build on there, um, or video on there, show how it works on After Effects. Which is bet better, internal storage or external so storage for PCIe for safety against viruses? It in, I would go external, always external. Joel Berry, good evening. Thank you very much, um, Joel Perry. Um, What do we have over here? Found your channel recently in my suggestion feed. Love the content. You gave me some great lighting ideas for my A-roll on my channel. Thanks for that cheer from Austria. Thank you very much, guys. Um, tech therapy for saying that. Uh, I'm great you're finding my content useful. So uh, bless you. Thanks for being on the channel. Thanks for being a subscriber. I appreciate you. Fist bump. Internal storage, Ryzen 5 3600 or Ryzen 7 2700 for video editing. My friend Roshan is asking Ryzen 5 3600 or Ryzen 7 2700 for video editing. My friend, I would go for Ryzen 3600X if you can. Not the 3600, but Ryzen 3600X, which the price should be pretty similar to 2700. Um, but the 3600X is so much better in single core performance, and the multi core performance is pretty much on par, pretty much on par with the 2700, uh, which means that your um, most of the operating system, if you're running Windows, uses the single core, so you're gonna get much better, like snappier performance because your single core is. Uh, performance is much faster and then if you're going to do a rendering or things like that your multi-core is going to pull right on par with the 2700 so I would go for that one that's what I would say Ryzen 5 3600 yeah someone's already said that um, and what graphics card would you go with it looks like a budget graphics card I would go with um, 1660 that's probably like a good over there uh, so the flip 
uh, Wolf is kind of spamming this over here. May is sending me 100 Japanese yens, I think. That's what it is. Uh, thank you very much for Super Chat. You guys don't need to put Super Chat. Um, but thank you very much, guys. Um, nice to see you here, May. Um, I appreciate it very, very, very much. Um, respect from Iraq. Adam, respect to you as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for commenting. Absolutely blown away that you are there. David is saying fastest SSD. <laughs> Depends what you're doing. Um, read and write speed or just snappiness. Intel Optane is very, very much, you know, probably the best one when it comes to snappiness and opening programs and things like that. So very, very interesting in that. Um, hi from Netherlands. I'm overwhelmed with all the memory modules. I really don't know which one to choose. It's so frustrating. So Patrick, um, I wonder what memory modules do you mean? Do you mean RAM? Do you mean uh, SSDs? Do you mean hard drives? And tell me what do you want? Which antivirus? I don't actually use antivirus system because I don't tend to go on dodgy sites. Uh, so it should be fine. But I don't know much about antiviruses. So far I've been fine. Um, do you use a scratch drive? Yes, I do use a scratch drive sometimes. Patrick is saying yes, RAM. So basically, um, what you want to go for RAM, I don't know which build you're doing. Uh, if you're doing for video editing, then like I said, the minimum you would want to go is 16 gigabytes, but if you can go to 32 gigabytes. And if you're using Ryzen CPUs, I would go like either 3000 megahertz or 3200 30, 3, megahertz um, RAM. Uh, that's probably like the sweet spot. If you can 3600, you're going to get a little bit of a performance boost, uh, but depends what is like the best bang for buck if you really need on the budget just go 3000 3200 or 3600 the 3200 megahertz is probably the sweet spot over there um so you build all your pc intel or amd um, a lot of people have been asking about that's todd cushing saying um, so you build an audio pc do you go for amd or intel a lot of people have been asking that and um, I have to look into that and actually maybe make a video about that because um, I don't quite know what the audio editing programs require and what's like the best. Um, there's an ant. Let me show you this. There's an ant on the. Can you see that? I, just, I squished it. Squished it. Sorry. There was an ant running on the table. Is there another one? Oh, there we go. Look at that guy. Look at this. Can you see on the knife over here? What's it like? Go on. Go on. Um, so, the flipped out wolf says, what is your PC specs? At the moment, I am streaming this on that red and black PC, which is just underneath there. Um, that's what I'm streaming on. Um, so... That's what I'm using at the moment over here. And my main PC is what you can see on the other channel, the Mac Pro Killer, which a lot of people don't like to call that. Um, so yeah. Um, NAC YT says stream FPS is like 15. I know. It's not actually dropping any frames, but it is very, very choppy because uh, I'm using a very dodgy system to capture this if, if you did, weren't here. The UK has been sold out of capture devices and uh, I've been like back ordered and I've ordered it already, but it just hasn't arrived in time. So what I'm using is like a live preview software and then that goes through the computer. Sorry, my friends. I'm sorry, very sorry. Oh, thank you for all the likes. There's 29 likes happening over there. Flipping awesome. Um, which Cases, oh wow, flipping egg. There's so many comments coming in. Uh, we're gonna look, open another package. Come on, let's focus. I don't know why it's not focusing. So let me go to the second camera. So this 
over here is Hollyland Mars 400S wireless video transmitter, okay? So it's a HDMI plus SDI um, wireless transmission system. So this is pretty interesting um, thing going on over here. Um, so let's open this up. What is Socket saying? Um, why do you sound like a Scandinavian and Northern at the same time? Which are you? I am both <laughs> Scandinavian. You're funny. Um, ah, did you say about the end? Sorry, did I miss this? Where is it? Where is it? What is it? Where is it? And uh, where is it? Where is the? Where is the end thing? <laughs> I love that you didn't kill the end. Thanks, buddy. Oh, I can't see that coming over here. Where is it? Oh, I must have missed that. Uh, cool. Um, so let's let's go back to the unboxing. I'm getting so distracted because I'm not used to having loads of people commenting because it's like blowing my mind. So thank you everybody who's who's here again um, and maybe watching this with us. Absolutely blown away by all of you subscribers. Thank you one more time, you guys. Honestly, it just blows my mind that so many have joined recently and found these videos helpful. Um, so there we go. There's this, let's open up. Mars 400S, user manual. So what do we have over here? So on this side, one package over here, transmitter. This is the transmitter then. Um, and then we have SDI in, 60 volt DC. So let's have a look. So on the right side over here, 6 to 60 volt DC that you can plug in over here, off or on over here. Also, we have a Sony battery that you can put over here. Hmm, that is very cool. Then um, some buttons over here, obviously, for the menu. HDMI in. SDI in and type C. I wonder what this type C is. Is it input or charging port? Then we have some antennas. I think they are, you know, somewhere in the box over there. Um, there we are, the antennas. That is called pretty smart unboxing. We have, uh, yeah, is it all right? Does it look okay? Yeah. So antennas. Uh, okay. Nice box. Looks very compact, very slick. I like that. So we have two antennas over here. And then, why is there three antennas? Ah, there is five antennas. Okay, can you see that? One, two, three, four, five. I think one must be spared just in case you break something or whatever. So the other one over here is the receiver. So this is where you would be, you know, going for, if you have uh, someone pulling focus or something like that, this is for you. You plug this or your monitor over here in and then you would, you know, pull focus or whatever. I have some very interesting uh, things I'd like to test this out or how I would use this. So looks very solid. I like that on and off switch. It just works really, really, really nicely and well. Um, HDMI out, Type-C, SDI out. So you can use either SDI or HDMI, which is big, big, big thing. You know, these pro, um, a lot of these pro wireless HDMI transmitters don't have SDI, so that is very, very, very cool. So I think this is like a competitor to the Teradek one, um, but this one is, is much cheaper. Let's have a look what is in this last box over here. Uh, okay. UK plug adapter. And um, this is like a hot shoe. You can see hot shoe, actually cold shoe mount over here quarter inch thread and then a cold shoe on that side. Well, sorry about that. Some kind of little uh, angle bracket over here. Okay, I'm not quite sure what you would use that for. Uh, probably to mount this on your camera, actually. Put this, you know, over there and then mount this on the Derodect. Oh, sorry, Holyland. Oh, and then we have the uh, power adapter over here. Okay, you can plug the UK one over here. Let's have a look, you know, it goes on like that. You know, I'm so good at doing these live, aren't I? 
Let's have a look. Come on. I can figure this out. Yes. Okay, there we go. It's plugged in. Ooh, there's a lock mechanism as well also for this, which is very, very nice. So we get one power adapter, and then we have one USB-C to USB, what is this, USB-B? Yeah, it should be still live. Yeah, I just haven't taken this off. I've just paused it. Yeah, it's fine. Um, USB-C to uh, USB-A. What's this called? No, it's not USB-A. Yeah, it is USB-A. USB-A port. Okay. And then one quarter inch screw with the thumb over here as well. So, very interesting. Very interesting. I'm very excited to um, show some very interesting uses how you can use this. So, I'm going to put this on the side. Um, so, very, very cool. Let's have a look at some other comments over here. Uh, okay, what's going over here? Seriously, what are you? Uh, I am... I was born in Estonia. That is uh, Nark YT asking me. I was born in Estonia, but I've been living in the UK for the past six years now. More than six years now. So I've got a family here now. Um, we've got kids over here now. So I live in the northeast of England. Uh, Aaron saying human. That is very funny. Muhammad Misrab saying just followed you on Instagram. Uh, nice one, Muhammad. Although um, I don't use the Instagram much, I'm probably one of those, you know, only people in the world who thinks that you should just stick with one kind of social media thing because I just find that there's so many different um, social media platforms out there. It just gets overwhelming and then if you don't kind of commit yourself to one you're just gonna miss everything so mainly I'm using YouTube and then a little bit of Facebook and then Instagram is third you know I sometimes use Instagram once a week or something just checking if I don't have any any messages or something like that but but that's it over here Sal Mahalit said solve your videos um, love you as well for being here on the subs on the chat nice to see you Brandy, maybe his mother and father are from different regions. No, my, both my mum and dad are from Estonia, so they're both Estonians. I look a bit dodgy in that baseball cap and hoodie. Uh, that is the Gigi saying, my friend, if I showed you what haircut is underneath that hoodie, that will be even dodgier. So I think I'm doing everyone a favor by wearing this cap, okay? It's been a quarantine, my wife cut my hair, you don't want to see it, honestly. Um, I'll have to, I'll probably get demonetized if I showed you that hair. Um, honestly, it rocks the cap and hoodie. So thank you, my friend. Um, on your budget build, sorry, the Keji, I think I missed your question over there. Uh, let me have a look. Uh, the Keji. Where is your question about the mouse and the monitors? I'd love to see that over there. Um, Akobaji Abokhalid is saying, time's up. Nice watching our... Ah, thanks for being over here. Bless you. Um, we'll see you next time over there. The Keji says, the budget 4K editing build you did for 720, I mean. What monitor and mouse should I get with that? You need to do a separate video for best budget monitors and mouses too. So uh, for basically, I've already kind of scheduled this in when I'm gonna film this, what mouse and keyboard to get with this. But if you are doing on the budget, so this is what I'm using. I'm using like a random Logit Logitech wired keyboard from um, the uh, Amazon that I found. And I've been using this for six years now uh, and it's been fine. It's not one of those clicky clicky and you know, big travels and things like that. Uh, so. I don't really care about that as much, but for the mouse, I'm a little bit of a, what do you call it? You know, when you're picky about the mouse, I'm using the MX Master 3 for the mouse, which is a little bit of an overkill, but I like the feel, I like how my hand feels on it. I had an MX Master 1, but recently that one broke, so I upgraded to the third one. So I'm using MX Master 3 mouse on that. Um, 
Alex is saying, if you have seen it, what do you think of the new XPS 15 versus building it yourself? I think building it yourself, you mean the PC. Uh, I would always build it yourself. If you need the portability, then go for the laptop. But if you're building a PC, you always much, it's going to be much more powerful than a laptop because just the laptop uh, TDP is so much lower. You can't pull that much power from there. So if you have a desktop full-size PC, it's always much, much faster if you want editing things like that. Um, Spark Socket, time's up either. We'll get back to you tomorrow. Good luck. Uh, thanks for being over here. You know, awesome. Sp Spark, sp 3 R2 socket. Thanks for being here. My PC is really high end. It costs 7,500 euros a barrack. That is impressive. Um, I wonder what uh, hardware are you running there. Um, Mark Doubt say, How would you use that stuff you just unboxed? Okay, um, that is a very interesting question. I don't want to give everything away over here. Um, you're going to have to see one of the reviews uh, of this, but um, Basically, how would most people use it is a wireless uh, monitoring device. So if you're in the cinema or if you're using some camera, you know, commercial, shooting commercials, you would use this for monitoring video or pulling focus. So if your camera operator is somewhere over there and then you can't, you know, be next to the camera pulling the focus, you would be over here. It transfers the video wirelessly and you would pull focus. Um, so that's how would most people would use it. But I have some very interesting options where I think it will be much more useful and much more mainstream how people would use it. Um, so that's very cool. Um, whoa, this just jumped. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, how awful is your hair, Salman? D you don't want to know. You don't want to know, flipping neck. Can you see a little bit here? Let's, let's hide, hide some stuff. Um, Hit Play Film says, hello, does the 3950X work well with the Premiere Pro and scrubbing on the timeline? Yes, it does. That's what I'm using on my main editing PC at the moment. I'm sorry for the burps. Um, and it's, it's fine. Depends, obviously, what codec you are using. I am using probably one of the clunkiest codecs, which is the Sony XAVC codec, 4K codec, and it's proper, like, it's not very nice, even though um, the CPU has not been fully utilized and things, it's just very clunky codec and, and it works pretty good on that. Um, Warrior Videographer says, uh, lol, yep, all barbies here in Oregon still closed. I know. All my friends who I know, all my mates, they've all cut their hair themselves or just done a baldy for themselves. I just couldn't do it. Um, but my wife kind of convinced myself that he needs to she needs to cut my hair, so she uh, she did. But um, that's why I'm wearing the cap until the barbers are open. <laughs> um, any budget mouse, keyboard, and monitor. If you want, just use this one for the mouse. I don't know if you can see this. This is a proper cheap, it's like a 10 pound mouse, wireless, absolutely fine. It works perfectly, um, so this is called Easter times tech over there. You'll find it on Amazon if you can do that. Um, so that's fine. Um, whoa, um, how much would you rate my PC from one today? My GPU is GT extended and my CPU is i5 with eight gigabytes of RAM. That's ha no WSSS camper. How much would you rate my PC from one to 10? I think it's uh, a good five. You know, it's quite an old, GPU and uh, quite an old CPU. Um, I think it's okay. Depends what you do for it. If it works, it's absolutely awesome. Video on monitors. I think you guys want to see like more budget versions of the editing monitors. Is that what you guys are saying? Because I did like a like a monitors editing guide, a modern pro video monitors guide, but um, I know that that monitor can be quite a lot out of the budget for um, a lot of people. And I understand that. Um, so, um, is that what you guys mean? Um, best $2,000 gaming setup. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not a gamer. I 
don't have any, not a single game on my computer and I don't intend to game. So I'm not the pe best person to use for gaming, like gaming suggestions. Uh, hit play film says, do 16 cores really matter uh, since uh, Nvidia released the update? So yes, 16 cores actually matter. There are a few things. Um, that encoding for the NVIDIA doesn't really affect the scrubbing of the timeline. It affects the render speeds um, and um, the 16 core still is, is absolutely awesome. Now, it depends on what codec you are using as well. Um, if you're, you can look this up on the Puget systems, but um, basically if you're using some of the red codecs or like more high-end cinema camera codecs, then the better CPUs is going to give you a big, bigger boost as well. It doesn't matter how big of uh, the GPU is, but having like a CPU like the 16 core 3950X is going to give you a big boost over there. Um, let's have a look. I'm going to scrub down a little bit. Uh, okay, Alex is saying, I'm going to pick up MX Master 3. What do you recommend for Bluetooth keyboard? Alex, flipping heck, I can't believe people actually buy the stuff I'm recommending because I just think that's what I'm using, you know, I like it and I think it's really good. So if you guys think, yeah, this is awesome, it just blows my mind that like what I say can be actually helpful for someone. Um, what Bluetooth keyboard I would recommend? So Alex, if you can, there are some really nice uh, keyboards as well from the MX keys or the uh, Logitech, Logitech craft keyboard. They're quite expensive. If you can, you know, buy them, obviously it's going to be really nice because your MX Master is going to match the keyboard and you can use one universal receiver, receiver and that's going to get both of them or you can connect them over a Bluetooth, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, that's fine. Um, let's have a look. Who else do we have over here? Hit Play Film says, please make a video and talk about all the frustrations of working at weddings. Whew, that is one big thing. I mean, working at weddings, so much absolute like stuff that's happening at weddings. It's, it's ridiculous. It's so stressful. I appreciate every single wedding filmmaker who is watching this live stream. Bless you. You have probably one of the like most stressful jobs in the world. I've been there, I've done that. Uh, it's it's stressful, so bless you guys, keep going. You can do it, you can film another ceremony, you can talk to another priest who doesn't want you to stand over there and doesn't want to put the mic on the bride or the groom. Bless you, you're gonna get through it, keep going. Um, Abu Khaled is saying, as you know, the Venture is all of his best program for color grading which monitor and calibration kit you recommend. So Abocalit um, depends what you do with it. It looks like if you're using DaVinci and you mainly want to get proper color grade and professional color grade, maybe you're doing some commercials or things like that. What I recommend you do, do is get one of those um, BenQ Pro video editing monitors. Let me show you which one I mean. So let's go over here. Um, BenQ you monitors. I'll try to figure out over here. BenQ monitor. Okay, fine for now. Monitors. We want a uh, not designer. We want the video ones. Yes. Uh, where where are they? Over here. This PV3200 or PV2770. So basically these two monitors are for video editing. And the reason um, I'm recommending these over the ones that I have over there is if you have some very complex color spaces with your video camera, you know, you're shooting log or larger than, you know, Rec 709, color spaces or you know srgb color spaces then you probably can utilize that but if you're using like a standard video editing you know and you don't 
you export, for example, on Rec 709 or something like that, then it would be fine for the PD3200 as well. But the PV is, pro you know, basically professional video. That's what I would say. PD is professional designers and P BP maybe is for photographers, but these two ones are some pretty uh, pretty good ones. Um, but they're quite expensive. Look, this one over here is eight hundred and sixty nine pounds, which is probably like about thousand dollars. It it gets expensive when we're talking about that. Ooh, okay. Who's next? Ian is saying hi from Malaysia. Can you recommend a hardware to build Hackintosh for four K video editing on a budget? Uh, it means a stable run for Adobe product. Thank you for you produce a great content. Thank you, Ian, for your nice comment. I appreciate you being here and dropping this over here. So Hackintosh, uh, let me just get that out of the way. I am not a very, very um, good person to ask this from. I haven't built a Hackintosh ever, um, but I understand that some people prefer the iOS over Windows. And I'm using both because I have a Apple laptop and then Windows PCs. Um, and then what I've found is if you really want to do mainly Adobe things, then it doesn't really matter the OS system. I would go for Windows because you get more bang for buck basically for your money. If you really want the iOS, you know, iDrop and iMessages and all that, then you're gonna probably have to spend more. But Hackintoshes will almost never be as OS because it's, it's reliable, it's just there, never kind of breaks, never breaks down, just works, you know. But if you go with the Hackintosh, that's like taking all these benefits away and just building this, but knowing that it doesn't work as well. Anyway, that's my opinion. Um, let's have a look, what do we have over here? Hit play films, lol, I think you, that's lol for the, for the weddings, so. You know, respect, you know what's happening over there. Howdy, I built your Mac killer last week. I'm on it now. Thanks again. Show you how. Uh, um, I'm hoping it's going to go very well for you. And I'm glad you went with this build. That is awesome. How much are those monitors? These monitors were, that is asking, the Keji is asking. One is 869. And let me have a look. How much is the 32 inch version? Is thousand pounds. So it's thousand pounds and eight hundred and sixty nine pounds. Um, what's your opinions on ultra wide versus standard monitors? I think it's fine. Um, I just haven't found that the ultra wide monitors um, to be very professional grade in terms of like the color spaces and color accuracy. Usually, the professional grade monitors usually come as the standard kind of size. You know, whatever thirty sixteen by nine or. 16 by 10 kind of um, aspect ratios. It's hard to find MSI prestige creation motherboard. Uh, can you suggest some other motherboard with Wi-Fi 6? So that is many deep is asking that. And I understand that. I've seen that a lot of um, the, you know, Amazon stock or stock everywhere is kind of running out and it's really hard to get the MSI motherboard. Uh, I have updated the descriptions on these videos on the Mac Pro Killer videos and I've put some other ones over there. There is the Gigabyte Aorus Extreme. Gigabyte Aorus Extreme or creation. Gigabyte X570 or Aorus Extreme and that uh, is like equivalent to that MSI X570 Prestige. And then there is one from uh, ASRock, ASRock Creation. Uh, but I would go either the MSI or the uh, Gigabyte one because the ASRock one has a different CPU connectors for the CPU power. There's not like two times, uh, what is it, six pin. There's six pin plus four pin. Um, so I would, because it's quite hard to find that four pin connection and things like that, I would go for the Gigabyte uh, motherboard or the MSI motherboard because you get the better, better build over here. Um, I've been sub since 500 subs, Barak, my man, you know, fist bump. Uh, it's, it's cool that some people are still actually active since, um, since you sub like that. It's absolutely awesome. When will be a good time to buy? Sorry, if I asked, just got here. 
when would be a good time to buy? Honestly, any time is as good if you just need the product, okay? But if you can wait, there is some exciting launches coming at the moment. Um, there is NVIDIA is going to be releasing their like 30 series graphics cards, which are going to be quite mint, which means the 20 series graphics cards are going to be cheaper. Then uh, AMD is going to be releasing the 4000 series later on, but it looks like they're going to do an update of the, uh, or like um, the current lineup of the, you know, the X series, for example, 3600X or 3900X. It seems like there's going to be 3900XT with just higher clock speeds to just kind of, you know, show Intel what they're made of these days, which is amazing. AMD has been always the underdog, but suddenly it's just leading, leading the game. Unless you're a gamer, then the ultimate perf performance comes still from Intel. Uh, but that's, that's, that, that's what I would do. We want the budget monitor, not the one that costs 800 pounds. I understand. Um, honestly, if you want a budget monitor, it depends what you want. Are you going to want the size of the monitor, like 32 inch, a 27 inch, smaller one? Do you need multiple monitors? Do you need 4K? That's what, like one of the biggest ones. If you don't need that, you can get something like pretty cheap. Like how I started off is um, I used just like a hundred pound monitor that I found somewhere and it's going to be okay. Honestly, if you just get like a Samsung and LG monitor um, and then just find a, like a colleague calibrator, Spider X, which I've done a video on my channel, just one of the recent videos, and then get as color accurate as possible. That's like the best budget option you can go for. If you want 4K, just figure out like a 4K. Honestly, it doesn't really matter on the budget version because they're there's not that big of a difference when we come to editing and like color accuracy and things like that. Just stay away from the higher refresh rates if you're not a gamer because you don't need that and you probably pay more for that if you want the budget ones. Just stay for something like that and that's what I would do. Um, thank uh, Abo Khaled is saying, thank you. Can you tell us your channel content for one year? What is your vision, your goals for your uh, a YouTube channel. So Abu Khaled, um, thanks for asking. I'm personally like not big on like setting goals for like the next five years or things like that. Um, I know what I'm doing for the next like few months on the channel. Um, my current plan at the moment is um, I've got loads of videos planned that you guys have been asking about and um, I'm going to do them videos and I'm going to schedule them for the summer um, while I'm going to take a little bit of time off because it's been absolutely crazy time recently so I need a bit of a break and then in September come back and then figure out what we're going to do I would love to do some sick builds um, so I've got like some sick builds in the bank there that that I would like to do some very awesome interesting ideas at least what I think are interesting and um, some color themes just like single color theme for example for a PC some size ones or just some ultimate ones. Um, I'd love to know if there's anyone who would need like a 8K video editing machine because uh, I think that would be very interesting to see, uh, very entertaining video to watch, I guess. Um, so that would be awesome. Um, so that's like kind of what's coming out recently. There's gonna be some storage videos coming, um, you know, mouse and keyboard ones, maybe monitor ones, um, things like that coming. So that is awesome. Uh, that's what you can expect. And uh, always let us know what, what you're looking for, because if you're looking for something, there's always other people who are looking for the same thing. So good to, good to know that as well. Um, Said is saying, best size for a video monitor editing like 27 or 32. Honestly, if I'm completely honest with you, it depends your depth of your table. Um, if it's more than one, two, about three feet, two and a half feet deep, then consider 32 inch. If it's shallower, then go for 27 inch because I made that mistake. At the moment I'm editing on a 32 inch and I often find myself just cramps on my neck because I'm moving my head too much. I'm too close to the monitor. Um, let's have a open another product and then we're gonna go for the next questions over there. So, we have a USB microphone over here. So let's slice that thing open and then open these boxes. Um, 
Davy GB is saying I use PD thirty two hundred U as well. Nice, that is awesome, um, Davy. And Patrick H is saying I just bought the BenQ PD twenty seven hundred U, and that is awesome. I love that, guys. That is awesome. Um, so, Pooper one two is saying hello, making Optiplex build. Uh, what is an Optiplex build? Um, I'm not quite sure. Anyone can tell me what is an Optiplex build? Do you know that? Windows Optiplex. Hmm. No, I don't know. Um, hey man, you the best. I love you. I want a razor blade 15 base model 20 cent after what happened with yours. Is it worth it now? Okay, Casper King. Uh, you've come... If you're asking me, is a razor blade 15 worth it? <sighs> I'm a little bit skeptical, okay? Because if you haven't seen my razor blade 15 story, it's a little bit like... <sighs> I didn't have the nicest experience. Maybe they've changed it, but... Judging by the comments of that video, there are so many people who have had troubles with Razer. And the percentage of people who have commented with, oh, I've had no problems, is so small. So I, I personally would be a little bit skeptical on, on Razer. Um, I wanted to do a proper review of this, I contacted Razer, and we were supposed to make a deal. And, you know, they were supposed to show me their um, laptop like that's working one and we can figure actually out how good it is on editing but it never happens so i guess they don't want that or they're doubting that it is any good but anyway let's have a look at this over here so uh, this microphone comes with a pop filter over there like that nice little stocking around this plastic over here we have the microphone covering over here that is proper squished i hope this is going to go back because you wouldn't want this on your microphone. That looks proper weird. Um, and then we have this mic and mic stand. Okay, so there is like a mic stand holder over here. Okay. So it holds like that. And then we can like move the mic over here. Why is this on this side? Okay, I can move it around over here. Um, okay. And then we can have the pop filter screwed in over here. Uh, so this is proper budget uh, USB microphone, but I'm just keen always at checking out the budget ones as well, because I understand that for a lot of people, sometimes the budget ones can be absolute gold finds. So microphone like that, it's not very big. I expected it to be bigger. Uh, it's plastic design. I hoped it was gonna be metal. It's plastic, so we'll see that. And then USB cable, we'll have to see how good this quality is. So that's, uh, that's the little microphone over here. Stay tuned if you want to know how it sounds, if it sounds pants. The review is going to be like that. So um, we'll see about that. Okay, put that on the side. So let's have a look at the comments. Um, awesome answer, thanks. Um, Main use for CAD, infinite elements analysis, and CAM and ETC. AMD better value and performance. And is there a clear leader for GPC and CP CPU uh, regarding this use case? Sorry, Danny, I don't know what you are asking here exactly. Um, main use for is CAD. I think ah, he went for the monitor over here. Um, is CAD infinite elements analysis better value? But is AMD better value? Sorry, I'm a bit confused, Danny. I can't remember what this is relating here over, over here. So, Danny, see that co comment over there? Please uh, comment again. Let me know what you mean over here. Um, Daphne saying, I built a custom PC with Ryzen 7 3700, uh, 32 gigs of G-Skill and GTX 1060 GPU. Do you think that's enough for 4K editing in Premiere and After Effects? That is uh, pretty good. I think it's uh, it's very good. I think the GPU might be the first bottleneck over there that you see. Uh, I think 1060 is still six gigabytes, isn't it? Let's have a look. Uh, is it six gigabytes or is it... Um, this is four gigabytes of RAM. It 
Come on, why can't I find out if it is? Let's have a look. Uh, 10, 1060 GTX. Uh, it is three gigabytes. What is it? Six gigabytes? Nvidia gigabytes. I think it's. How many gigabytes is your GPU as well, my friend uh, over here, who's asking the Stephanie's? Because that the uh, that VRAM massively, you know, matters as well now. When is that? But because you went for the 10 series, that's good. Because the latest Premiere Pro um, update actually can utilize your GPU as well, so that is good. Um, Uh, Alex is saying, I just installed the 4K UHD 34-inch ultrawide with 99 sRGB in my office on it right now. Do you think that is a wide enough color space for a professional photo video editing use? If you're using it for photo editing, absolutely. You know, photo editing color spaces, not as, as wide as video editing um, color spaces over there, unless you're shooting it on like a picture profile or something like that. Um, the thing is with, with video editing, if you're doing some like logs or HLGs or things like that, it, it might not be the perfect one, but honestly, if you're not shooting commercials and things like that, you'll be perfectly fine. Um, you'll be honestly, I'll be fine, you'll be fine. Um, uh, the Keji is saying, once you make yourself build, how do you upload Windows on it? Basically go on Microsoft website. If you check on one of my builds, I've left a link in the description as well. Make a install USB, plug it in the back of your uh, PC, turn it on. It's gonna figure out that the USB is installed there, starts the installing process, figure out which SSD or hard drive you want the Windows on, and just next, 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 done. Um, Let's have a look. We have uh, Aaron here. I thought they were all PCs from primary school. So, uh, uh, I don't know what Aaron's saying over here. Casper, I don't live in the US. I live all the way in Dubai. So I will get it shipped from US. So is it going to be hard to send it back? Probably. <laughs> I imagine so. Probably. Um, Okay, let's have a look. Ignatius is saying, hey, absolutely love the quality of your videos. Thank you, Ignatius. Um, which monitor do you recommend that's good for both gaming and photo editing and doesn't break the bank? <sighs> um, photo editing. Uh, I'm dropping some frames. I'm dropping some frames. I think we should be fine now. Are we back on? Okay. It's a very um, big question, but basically what I would go for is just find your gaming monitor, whichever refresh rate you're gonna go for, and then just buy the um, Spider-X calibrator, which is a budget calibrator, and calibrate your screen because for photo editing, it should be still fine. Um, so we have, who do we have over here? Imran is saying, Intel 9900K or AMD 3950X. Imran, that is no question, AMD. If you're doing video editing or any workstation thing, the 3950X is much better, much, much better. Um, so Danny's saying, sorry, bad wording, second language. Is there a clear leader that comes to mind for both processors and graphics cards, PC workstation for heavy, um, CAD use and simulation, it is a value for money perspective. So GPU, NVIDIA and um, CPU, AMD, always. I hope that answers your question in Danny. Um, very, very quick answer over there. Um, so Sa Saeed is saying, does the red and black PC have Wi-Fi or do you use an Ethernet cable for Wi-Fi? I am using an Ethernet cable. Um, for internet. Um, Vivek Bali is saying best antivirus for once the build is done. Pfft, honestly, I don't know. Should ask Linus. Linus does a quick tech tip over there or whatever. So let's open another package. Um, okay, so this time we're gonna have um, this 
arc. This is called the power arc over here. Oh, I feel so like tight. I'm getting cramps on my back. Oh, hey. I should also do a video how you can get your phone wirelessly on a live stream as a secondary camera, as you can see over here, boom. My phone wirelessly is, is doing that. I was very, very impressed when I found that out. But, um, so let's have a look over here. We have the power arc. My friends, oh, sorry, let me just move this camera for a little bit so that we can get a bit more. Okay, and then let's move this a little bit over here. Uh, it's a bit of an odd angle over here. Let's see if we can. Oh, in the frame, in the frame. Let's not do that. Oh no, still in the frame. Okay, there we go. Let's have a look. Number two. That's not better, is it? Oh, come on, Lowry. You can do it. So, is that in the frame now? No. So power arc, this is um, a power bank, but it's not any power bank. It is a 60 watt output power bank. 60 watt, Aaron. 60 watt, okay? So basically it can be almost compatible to like some of the chargers um, I think my MacBook charger is 60 watts, which is very interesting. Uh, so, okay, interesting unboxing over here. We have a pouch. Inside a pouch, there is a USB-C cable braided. USB-C to USB-C cable. That is seriously nice cable. Braided with a cable strap. Okay, this means quality. Feels very, very nice. Um, bonus points from me. Are you enjoying your new PowerArc product? I am, I am. So far I am. The unboxing looks great. And then we have this brick of a power bank over here. Um, power button, let's have a look. Only one charge left, so we're gonna have to charge it. But there is USB-C, USB-C, and the quick charge over here. We're gonna have to do some actual, does it say on the box? What's the specs over here? Uh, connect three devices. Uh, we have USB maximum 60 watts, yeah? Anyway, I don't know what this, uh, how much is the USB port over here, the quick charge, but in and out, but so this USB, you can ch um, charge it through that and actually get this out as well. So this is cool because you can actually charge a laptop with it, which is insane. Imagine that. Get some like a like a laptop. So this is the same battery as one charge of um, iPad Pro, if I'm not mistaken. So very 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 interesting. Let me move these a little bit on the side. And then another package that came from these Power Arc guys. Thank you very much, guys from PowerArc, by the way, for sending this. Um, the link is in the description, guys, if you want to find out you know, how much it costs or what, what this is. Uh-oh, uh rip the box open. What do we have here? Oh, okay, some serious, serious cables. Um, okay, let's get all these packaging away. I like that it's, everything feels very, very high quality over here. Okay, USB cable to USB-C cable, the same braided cable, looks looks very nice. My only thing is, why is this so long? Ah, I guess they have to fit their logo in here, Power Arc, <laughs> to make it so long, which is which is funny. Uh, oh, so there is, yeah, two USB-C to USB-A cables. Very nice, very nice over here. Thank you, Power Arc. If you want to check it out, the link this is in the description. Ooh, I have to charge it up and see how many times I can charge my uh, MacBook. See how much actually, how many percentages can I get? Yeah, you can charge a MacBook with it? 
course you can. USB-C to that 60 watt output. That is crazy. That is crazy. Let's see what's going on over here. Doing a live stream in 4K is overkill. Uh, whoa, I have missed quite a bit over here again. Um, what do we have over here? We have Deathless. I want to build a PC, but I don't know where to buy all those things. All those names and I can't get something much expensive. So I want something on $320 to $370. Can you help me? Okay, Deathless, check this out. Um, I'm going to plug a channel over here and um, these guys are absolutely awesome. Um, so Deathless, check this out. If you have a budget of $320 to $370, check this out. We're going to go to YouTube over here and they're called Max Tech uh, Gaming PC. They recently did this video over here. Um, oh, come on. Okay, we'll get this uh, out of the way. I hope this is not desktop audio. Yeah, it's off. Okay, skip ad. So these guys basically did that video uh, where they step by step build it, and there's also like how how good it is. But for 350 bucks to get as budget as possible, uh, and honestly, if you want something like that, this is probably one of the best options. I, w I would say just go with that. Um, you're gonna get some pretty decent stuff. Um, absolutely awesome, guys. Subscribe to Max Tech if you want. Uh, you know, I just, I think they're really, really awesome, guys. Uh, hope this help, helps Deathless. Um, the Keji and Aaron Zaher are doing something between themselves, having a, having a doing a live stream 4K is overkill. Oh, that's why they say. Um, the man just almost cut himself. I'm very good with a knife. I grew up in Estonia. We had knives all over the place. I was I was cutting wood when I was probably eight years old. You know, cutting little swords and things out of a little piece of piece of wood. Um, let's have a look. What else do we have over here? Um, Danny is saying, do you anticipate Nvidia and AMD prices drop at the end of the year for second-hand components when the new releases come out? How long do you think the lag in price drop will be on eBay, for example? I don't know about the lag, but definitely things are going to, uh, you know, prices are going to drop. And I think that is obvious because whatever you are, uh, whatever, you know, time goes on and prices are going to drop regardless. So that's that. Uh, that's what I would say. But definitely AM stu AMD stuff is going to drop a little bit in the end of the quarter or the th fourth quarter. So that's good. Um, I never quite understood how the cache and scratch files work. Why does Photoshop create files like this if you can just delete them? Um, I'll have to do a, a video on the scratch things, but um, about Photoshop, I'm not sure how the Photoshop cache files exactly work. I'm much more familiar with um, Premiere cache files, but I guess I can guess only that probably the, all the Adobe programs work similarly, that it just creates like files uh, for cache because sometimes even Photoshop files can be quite big files and take quite big resources from the CPU, GPU, whatever, to read the file, to edit the file. So what it does is create like little cache files and figures out like what you use the most often and creates like lower resolution files or something that can be read faster to make the program faster. So that's why it has the cache files. Um, Abu Khaled Alazi says, I recommend you read this book, 1,000 True Fans. You need 999 True Fans. I'm the first one. Fist bump. Yo, man. Thanks for being the first fan. Uh, I appreciate that. I get that ad all the time. The Keji, I'm getting that ad all the time. And this guy is actually lying in there. He says, everyone can create these videos, but actually he's not using the phone there. I know he's not using because it is not a phone quality over there. He's using a DSLR and then it flips over on the other side and then it goes to the phone. It's not actually phone quality. This guy, scam, scam. Um, when did you move to Northern England? I moved uh, six years ago, over six years ago. 
Dekeji is saying, can you do a video on creating your own budget IRL live streaming setup? What is IRL? In real life live streaming setup. Streaming live outside. What does that mean? So I'm, I'm streaming live outside while building the PC. Is that what it means? Yeah, so basically like what Linus is doing, like uh, building a video on a live stream, having all these different angles and building one of these. We, we could do that. Um, Fuad the Master is saying, nice, old subscriber. Nice one, mate. Nice to have you. I'm up, um, Nark YT is saying, I'm upgrading to this PC. Ryzen 3 3300X, 64 gigabytes of RAM, 3200 megahertz. B450M 1050 Ti. Now, my only question over there is why go 64 gigabytes of RAM? Uh, and what I would do is don't go for 1050 Ti, go for 1660 or 16 Super. That's, that's what I would do. If you're using video editing, if you're doing gaming or something like that, it might be different. Uh, no, like live stream, live on your phone or using a live view. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Keji, just let me know exactly what you what you mean. Moon Moon is saying, hello, I loved your black and red build. I will buy a similar one. I want to learn Premiere, mainly After Effects and rest. What is your recommendation next? Um, 120 euros, Ev Envia, Sabrent, Rocket, 512 gigabyte, and Western Digital, one terabyte. Uh, two... Two times Kingston Air or send an SCL plus one for OS and programs, other for project and one terabyte SCL for Kingston and Sam Kingston and Samsung. Uh, I'm a little bit confused here. So first is Sabre Rocket and version digital. I guess that uh, Sabre Rocket is for the OS then and for the project. Second, two times 24 Kingston or SanDisk for OS and programs, other project and one terabyte for Kingston and Samsung. Um, if I was you, I would go for definitely uh, NVMe uh, storage because there's a big jump from NVMe or the normal 2.5 SSD drives. Your, if your OS is, OS is on the NVMe drive, go for that one. And then later on, um, you know, add your project disks and things like that. Um, that's what I would do. Uh, I hope this helps Moon Moon. Uh, we have Hermes 8A. Are you going to build a Hackintosh with Ryzen CPU? I like Apple OS, been using it for years and want a powerful computer to edit videos up to 6K. Have a black magic pocket in my camera, 6K. Um, I'm not planning to do a Hackintosh. Um, I think if you, if you want the Apple e ecosystem, I personally would go for the uh, just buy anything Apple. The 16-inch MacBook is is pretty um, insane. What it can do, it's pretty good. Um, so that Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K, that B-roll codec is very sweet codec. So you don't actually need very powerful uh, machines to edit that. It's very nice to edit with. Um, so. Yeah, that's that's what I would do. Is I would go for full on Mac or full on Windows, things like that. Uh, is twenty sixty I deny FTW is saying I is twenty sixty super worth it over twenty sixty? Yes, 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 yes. It is absolutely worth it. The thing is, if you're doing video editing, you're gonna get extra two gigabytes of RAM VRAM, which is gonna be massive. Jump from a six gigabytes to eight gigabytes. So if you're doing anything, you know, on Premiere Pro, Premiere Pro that's gonna be very uh, helpful. Um, so definitely go for that. Oh, I think we are dropping some frames. Are we dropping some frames? It goes red over here. I hope it's, is it still working for everybody? 
Hello, okay, losing frames. I'm dropping frames at the moment. Yeah, losing frame rates again. Oh, the Kenji, sorry guys, losing frames over here. I hope we're going back. Okay, should be coming back now. Uh, okay, are we coming back? Are we coming back? I hope it's all right. I'm dropping quite a lot of frames over here at the moment. I don't know what's happening with the internet. Is it okay? Is it okay? Is it still working for everybody? Um, I'm seeing that it, um, it looks like I'm dropping quite a lot of frames over here. It's okay, okay. Okay, so while hopefully it's gonna come back on again. Um, so, next package. Um, I'm quite excited about that over here. PD movie. I've listed this in the description as well. So let's have a look. I've already peeked in as you can see. This box is open. So this is called Rig Air, okay? And over here we can see Live Air. So as, as, as you can see, you can actually sell air. Um, like I said, 4K isn't necessary. I'm not streaming in 4K, am I? Yeah. I'm streaming in 4K. 1440p. Yeah, it's 1440p. It's 1440p, guys. Um, come on, come back speed, come back speed. I'll be dropping frames. So, um, live air. I've got another ant over here. Flick it away. Um, let's see what we have over here. So inside the box, we have some instructions, obviously. Look, look at that. Don't you just love to get some tech that just shows you some cinema rig, 3D Armor 3. Um, obviously this is not what it's inside. It's one of those over here, okay? But there's some other products that they're doing. The only shame thing is when you see most of the text being in Chinese, uh, that's a little bit like, oh, like I'm wondering what does that mean over here? Is there an English version as well on the other side? No. Okay, so inside this package over here, we've got the lens belt over here with the metal like arm thing over here. Oh, sorry guys. Let me just move this a little bit. Uh, Okay, there we go. So we have the lens belt, as you can see over here. And then there's a few different like cheese grated things, belt things that you can attach to your gauge or things like that. Um, one, two, then like a handle bit over here. Um, then we have the reel. No, it's not called reel. What's it called? Um, 15 rod, rod, yeah, the roll rod attachment over here. And then we have some screws over here just for your cage and things to kind of set it up for top handle or side handle or. Whoa, oh, it's actually open. Ah, oh, they're open, so they're not closed. Look at that. Cheese grater, it's very light actually. Um, so that's cool. We'll have to see a setup over here. But then let's open up the main thing over here, okay? So as you can see, we can pair today's on, uh, like products over here, the, the wireless video transmitter and this, and if the wireless, the, what is it? Is it okay now? Uh, is it all right? White noise, let's have a look. Is it okay now? Okay. So um, let's have a look at this, what's inside. So yeah, like I said, we can pair it with the other one and then over there. Can I change the live stream settings output, video output while you do it, while we're doing this? No, I can't. So it's gonna have to be like that. Come on internet, go back. Um, so, on here we have 
this uh, rod on the side over here. I like that a lot. Please tear open. Tear. 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 Sorry, getting mocked over here. Please tear open. Okay. Let's. Okay, which way is this going to be open? Oh, I think this way. Whoa. Okay, check this out. Look at this cable management over here. Can you see that? That is mint. That is absolutely awesome. Um, but it is micro USB. <laughs> micro USB. Why? Why micro USB? Why can't it be USB C? Um, okay. So I don't even know where to start over here. Let's have a look at this. Start with this one over here. So this is the motor. Whoa. This feels high quality. It's like proper metal. It feels like heavy. It feels like one piece of solid metal over here. We have the motor over here. This is obviously for the belt and things like that. For you guys who, um, you know, for video follow focus, wireless follow focus, this, this is what that is. Then we have the battery over here, I think. What is this over here? Okay, this uh, uh, tightens that over here. Okay, there we go. The battery, I'm not sure how this battery comes out actually. Some beautiful packaging. Some beautiful packaging. Is that what someone says? I don't know how this, like, how does this come off, come open? I don't know how this battery comes off, I have to see. It's mini motor, but that looks pretty cool. So there is a battery inside over here, but they're like a double battery, like this one over here. It looks like they've glued together. It looks like exactly the same battery, just glued together inside and then goes over there. Okay, so the motor, spare battery over here. Then the battery charger over here. Oh, that feels nice. They've really figured out like what feels nice. It's like a like a rubbery kind of plastic feel on top, like a soft but hard at the same time. Feels nice. The only thing is it's micro USB. Okay, micro USB, you know, whatever. Another micro USB cable over here, small one. Put that back over there. Then we have the um, rod over here, rod connection. You connect your 50 millimeter rod over there. Put back inside. Okay, and then we have the uh, the other wheel. So basically this is where, where you would pull your focus. This is very smooth and very, very, very nice. Ooh, by the way, it's got hard ends on both sides. So this is this doesn't go that way. And that's hard end on that side as well. Okay, and then like some connection things, you can put it anywhere you know you want, things like that. Five volt in, so I guess that's how you can charge it over here. On and off over here. There is a battery inside there as well, actually. Um, oh, that comes out much easier. Just press down on the battery and then it comes out. Um, so that is cool. So that is the wireless follow focus. I'm gonna have to make a video about that later, see see how well this works and how awesome this is, but very, very, very exciting things. Okay, let me just put that on the side over here. So let's have a look at some other comments over here. What do we have over here? Whoa, you guys are crazy. So many people watching this over here. Let me see if there's anything happening on Facebook. No, no one's on Facebook these days. That's, that's the funny thing. Um, are we still dropping frames? It should be fine over now. Um, I can see it's red. We're not dropping any frames, but we did drop quite a lot of frames. Um, it's stable now. Is the B550 worth it if will not use a PCI? If I will not use a PCI 4.0 NVMe storage, uh, will PCIe 4.0 be necessary? for GPUs in two to three years. Um, 
it could be that the PCIe 4.0 will be um, quite necessary with GPUs for the next years, but we know much more when the um, RTX NVIDI NVIDIA's um, 30 series will come out, and then we'll see what they do, if they can utilize the PCIe 4.0 or things like that. But I would go for B450, just because the PCIe 4.0 is, is an awesome kind of way of other companies to utilize that, whatever they're gonna do with storage or other things, how they can use it. But then if you decide to upgrade, you can just know that, oh, I'll just pop in this new piece, whatever it is. So I would definitely do that. Um, storage, especially in the future, you know, when the 4.0 drives go much cheaper, um, you, you, you can do that. Um, why is Ryzen 7 2700X so expensive right now? That is Gaspard for us to say. I bet it's because of Corona, but yeah. Um, so let me see whatever, what do you, yeah, 4K, da, 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 da. it's not 4K, it is actually 1440p. Um, do you contact the conference? Da, 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 da. Let's have a look, what do we have? Yo, holy bro, that is Ankit Manta. Nice one, nice to see you here. Show you how, um, show you how it says, I had hard time getting parts here in the US after resourcing, resorting to ordering from Best Buy to order a 750 Corsair, they sent a $39 blender. At least the blender was 70 watts. <laughs> what? <laughs> he ordered a PSU and then got a blender. Oh, that is so funny. That is quite funny. Uh, well, why did it just go all the way down? Uh, let's have a look. Why stream in 1440p? Such overkill for the task. Because I like always the, the best resolution, whatever we can. It's awesome. The internet connection here is actually quite... Um, quite fast, so it should be able to handle it. It's like half the speed of what I should be getting upload. The upload speed is around 18 megabytes or something like that, and I'm sending around 8,000 uh, kilobytes per second, or kilobits per second, sorry. Um, so it should be easily fine, do you know what I mean? Uh, Jake Nyhaus says, hi there. Pack Sabbath is just stuffed with blue line Pi, Pi today. They're going to have to take a nap. Please respond if you think their tummies are going to be okay. I have no idea what's he talking about. Um, Josh, Josh, Josh Smith is here saying hello, Big Laza. Nice to see you here, Joshy boy. Great to see you here. Josh is always the guy who's been first on the comments. <laughs> First, 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 you'll see. He's been a bit, you know, not in shape lately because um, I haven't seen him being first lately. Um, Got to Hearts TV says, what do you think is best um, MB, I guess this is motherboard, board for editing build, not budget, but a decent one that is good for future upgrades. If you're going for the AMD CPU, then go for the X570 motherboards because um, we know that, well, the rumors and as much as we know, the X570 should be one of the motherboards that will definitely uh, you um, support the next gen CPU. So if you decide to upgrade your CPU, then you know you can do that. Tech Pro is here. Very nice to see you here, Tech Pro. I've seen you've uh, given some very good advice to people on comment section below. So um, nice to see you here, and thanks for helping my um, subscribers over there. Um, let's have a look who is here. Let's have a look. Is there, okay, rising one to see. I like 1440p, okay, cool. And you say it should be easily fine, but your listeners are telling you otherwise. True. I guess the problem is that, um, see, are we dropping frames again? Yes, we are. What the heck is going on with the internet connection? Next time, it's gonna be full HD. 
that's 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 for sure. Um, hey, Promi, nice to see you over here. Supon, hey, my big fan, nice one over there. <clears throat> SJ Mean Green, Mean Green, thanks for your videos. You inspired me to start my first build. Um, it's an honor that I inspired you. Um, just go for it. You're gonna do a great job. Alexander says, hello sir, do you know a company worth recommendation for custom PC build from Europe? Um, da, 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 da. I don't really know. Um, I'd love to build you one, because uh, I love building PCs, but um, if you want like loops and things like that, custom loops, flipping, egg, that's not me, um, then maybe worth going, probably just Google, maybe your local, PC build somewhere, um, and they should be there. Um, <laughs> Josh is saying, look, I'm sorry, Sir Lazatron. I'll get back into it. Nice one. Tech Pro, thanks. Oh, you're very welcome. Barak is back. You're welcome. Goodheart, X570, thanks. Okay. Uh, Supkan, big fan, my big fan. Uh, nice to hear, be here. By the way, after hearing about what B... 550 has I don't think it's worth the upgrade much what are your thoughts um I think my thoughts are the same tech bro um the the motherboards by B550 it's not I would if if you already like B450 just stay on B450 and if you're um just wait for the next CPUs to come out and then see but uh, I would go from B450 to X um, 570 straight away because it's just the quality is going to be bigger as well uh, you can see the interesting thing is like some of the more expensive motherboards you think oh why why are they worth it but actually the interesting thing is the expensive motherboards are actually just thicker as well that so means there's much more room for them to layer cables and connections and power things so they're just like more durable as well um, so I would go for x570 if you can P450, then you straight 570. Um, that's what I think. I don't know what you think, Tech Pro. Um, so Ford, the master says, hey, remember the issue with the old Blade 15? Did Razer fix the problem or gave you a refund? I got a refund. After two weeks, I was sick of it. I said, can I please have a refund? I can't, I can't deal with that. So I got a refund. Um, so, Rising 1C says 1080 stream, yes. So I guess you guys are right. Next time it's going to have to be 1080 stream. Um, Linus streams on YouTube in full HD and it's fine. Yeah, but we want to be better than Linus. We want to be 1440p. <laughs> uh, we need to be better than Linus. Only joking, Linus is cool. Um, King Fred says, Heya, Heya King Fred, or shall I say, Heya, your highness, your highness, King Fred. Um, Alexander Dom, thanks, I will check them out. The Kechi says, will you build my PC for me? I have 1K budget. I would love to build a PC for you. Um, obviously, I don't know what you want, but... Um, just send me an email, uh, what would you like? And maybe we can even build your PC live. A live stream, how are we building your PC? How cool would that be? So uh, send me an email, what like would you like? I'm hoping, I'm thinking you're in England because you're, you're saying uh, pound signs over there. So I think that's what you're in England. So yeah. Barak 180, can you shout me out? Barak 180, <laughs> is, is that right? Yeah, I already shouted you out in the beginning as well, but. Yeah, Tech Pro, oh, I didn't know they were thicker. Yeah, the X570 motherboards, uh, they're much more thicker. There's much more, less flex in them. Um, there's, a, I think one of the Linus's other um, channels actually did a good video about them. And I've recently did a build with um, the B450 and then the obviously my X570, and you can see the difference, a massive difference when plugging in that massive 24-pin motherboard, um, you know, cable, and then you're pressing down on the motherboard. The X570 didn't move much, but the B450 motherboard, they, they're going, going 
just bending and I'm going I'm actually holding onto the motherboard while pressing it in just in case it's going to bend. Um so just this is for a vid you should look at all technology from like 70s and review it. That's Josh saying. Josh, do you do you have any tech from the 70s that I'd like to review? We should do it. Flipping heck. How long have we been live streaming? Two hours, you guys are crazy. Man, the time's gone crazy. Let's uh, open up another box and then uh, we're gonna go ahead back to um, some, uh, some, some questions, okay? Um, Sridjen, 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 is that how you say your name? Says, do I need a heatsink for the 970 EVO plus 250 gigabytes? Not necessarily, but if you want to. You can. Okay, two last packages. Let's do them. Okay, here we go. These are Haki, 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 Hake to Moon or Haki. What's it called? Haki? Haki. Okay. Haki. Why you build a PC? <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, guys. Sorry. If you haven't seen this, this is really funny video. How this, uh, what's his name? Bitwit, how he's like reacting to the Verge PC build. <laughs> oh my word, if you want to have a laugh, it's it's so funny, honestly. I can't do the accent, but I love accents and how he just does it. It's absolutely hilarious. If any of you know what I'm talking about, please let me know in the comment section below. But this Hacky Moon, Hacky Moon, how do you, how do you open it? I think it comes out okay. Um, so they are truly wireless port earphones. They look pretty cool design on the back over here, as you can see. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? No? Um, so, so Keji is saying, where are you based, by the way, if you're allowed to say? I'm based in the Northeast. Um, I think that's how much I would say. Um, okay, look at this. How cool is this design? Boom. That does look like a moon or like trippy. How trippy is this design? Look at that. So let's take these out. Um, wait a second. We'll get this really close, the mic really close. And there we go. So let's open this thing out. Look at that. So there's like a really nice texture. Honestly, things we're getting here is really nice texture. So, oh, oh, oh my word. That is nice. Flipping like that is nice. So, battery indicating lights over here. Earbuds. I have to test them out. How do they sound? Um, and then get back to you. So far, design-wise, absolutely love them. Thanks for choosing high key. Okay, there we go. Let's see. There's the usual, you know, some text. Ooh, we've got quite a nice pouch this time. For me, my preference, a little bit too shiny. A little bit too shiny, if you know what I mean. Then we have some ear tips, customize your fits. Very nice, they're like sealed box. I like that. They, they've put some effort in the design. And then, what is this? I think the cable over here. USB-C, my friends. USB-C. Oh, I love that. And then USB-C cable over there. <sighs> okay. This is, this is nice. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go back to some of the questions over here. Uh, it is pretty futuristic. Um, Uh, KG is saying, yeah, I'm in Manchester. Yeah, Manchester is not too far from me, uh, about two hours away. Um, let's have a look. What do we have over here? Fox Queen Gamer Pro says, hello, hello. Um, video not visible. Is it? Okay. Yeah, I can really. S yeah, I can't really spend more than one k on a PC build at the moment, whilst things are still unstable in England. 
KG, I absolutely understand, uh, don't worry. But I need something that can do 4K editing. Uh, what codec are you using? What camera are you using for the 4K editing? Because that is a massive thing as well. If you're using Blackmagic Pocket Simulator camera, for example, it's going to be different than Sony and things like that. Um, Barrack 180, what would you recommend water coolers? I think you mean two-in-one AIOs. Um, so I would go for Kraken is a very good one and Corsair. Huh? Why? I think some of the bigger ones, they should be quite good ones. Um, I know Optimum Tech, if you guys know Optimum Tech channel, um, he uses uh, the Kraken um, AIOs for a lot of his CPU tests and things like that. So um, I don't know, that's what I'm thinking. I don't have like massive personal experience, so that's it. Uh, you should make yourself a mod. I should make Aaron a mod. Maybe I should. You must have more subscribers. I say you are a good YouTuber. Keep it up. Fod, the master. You are a good subscriber. Boom. Fist bump. Fist bump. Um, let's have a look. Uh, Jonas speaking of better of content. Take bro. Thanks, man. I to go low. RTX. Okay. These guys are going over there. Last package. TP-Link. Okay. If is there anyone here who remembers the um, TP-Link video that I did? Like it was. This was like within the first few months of starting the channel. But now, this is the most viewed video on my channel which is like so weird, okay? So basically, we got this TP-Link uh, Wi-Fi extender and just tested it out how good it is or how much does it improve. You know, long story short, it didn't improve much, but um, now it's got like the most views on the channel. It's ridiculous, it's crazy. So now, uh, because the problem still isn't solved, I'm in my loft and then we don't have Wi-Fi constantly gets like interrupted there because the router is just so far away. We've got this guy over here. Okay. Yeah. Well, the good thing is this one has an AC adapter on it as well. So you're not going to lose a socket wherever you're going to plug it in. Well, instructions guide. Actually, I'm going to... I'm going to need them with this one. Let's put that back. I mean, this is not like the most exciting unboxing over here sorry for the boring content um, if you're watching this back just tap the right side of the screen twice now if you're watching this live just bear with me uh, so yeah just antennas and uh, you know Ethernet socket cable on the bottom over here um, you're gonna have sorry Ethernet port LAN port and then we have this socket over here and then that's it okay goodbye next next thing over here so um, Okay, guys, if you guys have any other questions, we're going to wrap this now up. Um, there is one more build that I actually want to check out that someone sent in. Let me see if I can find that. But uh, send your last questions in if you have any over there. So we have... Uh, okay, we got uh, George Adams over here. George Adams... I'm not sure if you're watching this live stream over here, but let me see. Um, so let's get this over here. This is his question over here. So he said, hello, I'm about to purchase items for the Ryzen 39X, upgrading to 3950X PC. Love the videos, by the way. Um, thank you very much. However, the MSI Prestige X570 creation motherboard is no longer available. What is good alternative? I love the number of 3.2 USB ports it has as I have several external hard drives that I need access to. So a similar motherboard with the same or close amount of 3G ports would be great. Please help me. Thank you for your time. So, um, George, uh, I actually left some, I updated um, 
the descriptions of the MacBook Pro killer descriptions this afternoon. And there are some uh, recommendations over there. There, what I would go for is um, the or a uh, Gigabyte Aorus X570 Extreme motherboard or the Azrock Creation. Creator, or Azure Creation, Azure Creator motherboard. They're both X570 motherboards, so that's what it is. Um, that's what I would go for. Um, yeah. Thanks for sending the question in, by the way. So um, Moon Moon is saying NVMe 12, 512 gigabyte for OS programs and project one terabyte or SSD for OS and programs as a project. Thank you very much from Germany. Hi Moon Moon from Germany. Let me just try to understand what you mean. So uh, for OS, programs and project plus one terabyte or SSD for OS and programs plus SSD from project and one terabyte for SSD. Thank you very much. Um, I would go moon and moon. I think I answered your question already previously, but go for the NVMe for the OS and then one terabyte because the NVMe is quite big jump from the normal SSD. So NVMe storage is much faster than the, um, the normal SSDs, or 2.5 inch SSDs. Um, okay. Let's have a look. Supan, please answer questions. RTX 2060 Super or Vega 64? So depends what you what you're doing, gaming or you know doing video. Uh, content creation, content. If you're going for Hackintosh, you don't go for the RTX Super. You're going to have to go for Vega 64. NV NVIDIA graphics cards won't work for the Hackintosh. Um, but if you're doing uh, like Windows, then obviously, um, you know, NV NVIDIA. Okay. Uh, the Keji saying, I'm more about filming on Samsung S20 Ultra mainly and then editing the raw data and even using Dolby After Effects, also Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras. Okay, my friend, Keji, just send me an email exactly what you're looking for for your build and we'll see what we can do. I think it will be quite interesting tool. If you're using Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras, um, I've got some great options for you. Um, so definitely just send me an email what, what you need or things like that. Um, okay. Oh, I almost forgot what to say. I'm from you, from Egypt. Nice to see you from Egypt there. Gaming1707 says hi. Hi, everybody. So um, I'm going to wrap up this live stream over here. But uh, just one more time, I just want to underline something that y you guys are just blowing my mind. I just want to say thank you for every single person who has subscribed. We hit 15,000 subscribers this afternoon. Um, there was a point where I thought, oh, no, maybe we're not going to hit 15,000, uh, you know, before the live stream. But we did. So thank you, every single one who have been, you know, commenting and asking questions and things. I appreciate you. Likes as well. We get 57 likes on the live stream. Boof, blows my mind. Um, I'm absolutely blown away by you guys. And so um, thanks, guys, for being here. Thanks for being subscribed. Um, if you haven't yet, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. My friends, you are awesome, and we'll see you soon. As always, I'll be um, seeing you in the comment sections below on the other videos and things like that. So um, we'll see you soon. Kemalitin says, last this year, can you do a test with 8K R3D files? Um, yeah. On which computer? I don't know, but... Um, you know, we'll see you soon. So uh, thank you guys for being in the comment section below. I've said that so many times. So yeah, just thank you and uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you guys. Adios. Bye-bye. Good night. Um, in Estonian, if there's any Estonians watching, in Estonian how you say goodbye is Hjadaga. Or because it's evening, you would say Hjad. How do you say good evening in Estonian? Yeah, it. No, that's good night, like going to bed. But good evening. Okay, here Ciao. See you soon. It's a black screen. I'm just waiting for it to go off over there, but they can still hear me, so. Okay. I'm 
muting my audio now. Bye, guys. You can still see your comments. I'm going to go see you now.